Okay, I read Carrie's email this morning, and she was telling me that her, or all of, telling all of us, not just me, that uh, she was having trouble with her tension from what I was showing her before. And so what I thought I would do is show her, let me see if I can get this under here, Sh get the boobs out of the camera, <laughs> um, show her. A, a different way because if you want to touch this needle instead of pushing it here let me get it right here pushing it here and pushing if you insert your needle and start pulling like I showed you and then hit the side of that needle and push let me knit a few stitches see I'm still controlling it and I'm still hanging under this needle touching this needle that you um, your right hand needle that you push through but instead of pushing it on the point, put your finger on the side of it and push. And that will be the same movement that you're used to. Yet, oops, there they are again. Uh, the same movement that you're used to, but not uh, poking your finger. Let me keep that. Uh, I don't know where this camera is. It's hooked to my shirt. Okay. So... If you can see that I'm grabbing the needle on the side over here, I hope you can see that. Let me see. Pushing it right here on the side. All right. Now I'm going to use my finger because I've got my things up too far. Now let me get let me get this situated. All right, on the side. And that way, when you do it on the side, you're still controlling. And also keep your tension here tight so you won't have your loose stitches you were talking about but if you knit and put instead of pushing pushing here you're pushing here on the side it's not really it's not poking your finger it, you're using the flat side of that needle and pushing it through and See what I'm doing? And your finger's going to be sore right now, so that's going to be hard for you to do anyway. With the, you know, the ideal situation is not to touch this needle, in my opinion. But we all have to have our own comfort levels. And I noticed as I was knitting today that I sometimes did touch the needle on the side. I, know, I don't poke it anymore. I used to. I used to poke the needle, like, just like you do. But I don't anymore, but I get going pretty fast and I just don't, I just don't really touch it. I just touch the yarn and I push, I'm using the yarn, pushing the yarn like I showed you yesterday. But, um, because when you purl, here's a couple of purl stitches. I don't think you touch the needle when you purl, do you? Because you just pull it through. You've got your finger on that yarn and you're just pulling it through. So you never touch the needle. I don't think, I mean, I don't, I don't know what you do, but I don't think you do. So I think you could get used to doing it this way and keeping your tension tight. I don't know how you hold your... Here's gratuitous bling for Caroline. Gratuitous bling. There you go. And uh, <laughs> anyway, so if you try that on the side and see if that works for you, uh, just a suggestion, just a different way to try to help you with because my tension is still really tight when I, I'm a tight knitter also, probably, I probably loosened up in my older age, but only because I don't have as many stresses to knit on. <laughs> but um, anyway, just tr a little something to try to see if that doesn't help. Oops. And, um, if that doesn't help you with that. So anyway, um, okay, that's all I've got today. <laughs> Bye, y'all.